Hello, Maurice. Well, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. So what about your day? Yeah. Was it good, relaxing, so-so, or tiring? Yeah. Relaxing. Relaxing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm glad that it was relaxing. Okay. So what did you do? Did you go to the office? Yeah. Okay. I, I went. I went. I went. I went. And yeah. tomorrow, are you going to go to the office? No. No. I, you have no. the off. I don't go uh, on my office. I don't go to the office on Saturdays, on weekends. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that is good, okay, because you have the day off, right? So you have the day off, you can relax. You can yeah. um probably do different things. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Yes, tomorrow. Plans? Yes, tomorrow I go to the beach. Oh, you are going to the beach? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That is so cool. Okay, so you are going to enjoy it. And on Sunday? Do you have any plans? Uh, today in the, in the beach. Oh, so you are going to spend Saturday, the two days? Saturday and Sunday. Saturday oh and God. Sunday. Okay, that is cool, Maurice. So please yeah. enjoy it for me, okay? Yeah. Yes. All right. So good evening, Pablo. Good evening, Eduardo. How are you guys? How are you? How do you feel? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. So, Eduardo? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you are okay. So, we are going to start with our class. Today, we have different things that we are going to cover. We have different grammar topics. We also have um, different uh, vocabulary that we are going to learn. Okay. New information. And well, guys. So today's agenda, we are going to start with the warm up, then we are going to move to vocabulary. We have vocabulary related to generations. Uh, we also have uh, grammar, and today we are going to cover use too, and we are going to talk about well and good as well. So we have the speaking time, okay, for you to practice, and we also have listening quiz, grammar quiz, and the wrap up, okay? So guys, uh, basically we are going to start with the following, okay? We are going to start with vocabulary and today we are going to talk about generations, okay? Uh, guys, what do you know about generations? Do you know something about that? Do you know something about generations? Or no? Uh -huh. Nothing about generations. Well, today you are going to learn, okay? Because this topic is really important for you to take into account at the workplace sometimes. So, okay. So guys, uh, what we need to do is that we need to match, okay? Tenemos que enlazar. Yes, a qué generación pertenece cada tipo de persona que vemos on the right. So we have millennial, we have baby boomers, we have generation X, gen alpha, I gen or gen Z, greatest generation and the silent generation. Okay, so we have seven, seven types of generations. Okay, so millennials, who are millennials? Number five. Number five. People, People born between uh -huh. 1981 and 1996. Very good. So millennials are the people born between 1981 and 1996. What about baby boomers? Maybe number three. 
Maybe number three, and you are correct, okay? So baby boomers are the people born between 1946, 1964. What about Generation X? Uh -huh. Generation X. Number four. Number four. Generation X actually um, is the people born between 1965 and 1980. Mm -hmm. What about number four? Gen Alpha. The Gen Alpha. Which generation is that? Gen Alpha. Number seven. Yes. Gen Alpha is number seven. And those are the people born between 2013 and 2024. That is correct. Mm -hmm. What about number five? I Gen or Gen Z? People born between 1997 and 2012. 2012, number that six. is correct. Number six, perfect. Thank you, Maurice. What about number six, greatest generation? The greatest generation yeah. is the people born between 1901 and 1927, okay? And those are called greatest generation. And what about the silent generation? So the silent generation is the people born between 1928 and 1945, okay? Now, let's move, okay? Let's move and remember about this, okay? Remember about that. So. Let's move and let's talk about adjectives, okay? So we need to match the opposites, yeah? So which is the opposite of funny? Which is the opposite of funny? Boring. Boring? Okay. What is the opposite of interesting? Serious. All right. What about the opposite of loud? The opposite? Loud? Quiet. Quiet. Very good. What is the opposite of positive? Negative. Negative. The opposite of relax? Stress. 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 A stress, stress, okay? And the opposite of sociable, unsociable, okay? Unsociable. All right, guys. So now let's talk about generations, but let's go deeper than before, okay? So we are going to learn new vocabulary and you are going to learn different things. Okay, so... We are going to start with the first generation, which is greatest generation, okay? So we are going to talk about generations, characteristics, all right? Generation, characteristics. So greatest generation, the characteristics, disciplined, determined, and resilient, yeah? Disciplined, determined, resilient. Yeah, the age between 84 and 120, all right? So now, what about this one? Number two, which is silent generation, okay? Yes, the characteristics, traditional, patient, and responsible silent generation okay silent generation then we also have baby boomers 
Yes, baby boomers. The characteristics, mm -hmm. competitive, confident, and sociable. Competitive, confident, and sociable. And those are between 57 and 75, okay? We also have the Generation X. Yes, Generation X. They are independent, skeptical, and flexible. Independent, skeptical, and flexible. Yes, and they are, uh, they were born between 1965 and 1980. Okay, ages 41 to 56, around that age. Then millennials, millennials generation, yeah, characteristics, risk taker, ambitious, and self-centered, mm -hmm. self-centered. And people born between 1981 and 1986, age 25 to 40, around that age. Then we also have Generation Z. Characteristics, creative, open-minded, and that is true, and sensitive, very true as well, right? People born between 1997 and two, uh, 2012. Age between 9 and 24. Okay. And then we also have the last generation, which is Generation Alpha. And they are logical, objective, and self-aware. The generation that uh, actually was born between 2013 and 2024, technology, right? And that's why sometimes you say, this kid is so intelligent. He knows how to use this telephone because they are so logical because of the generation. All of the, of the kids nowadays, Generation Alpha, they know a lot of technology. They do have their own technology, right? Then what about Generation <laughs> right? Generation Z? And this is very important to know because most of the time you are going to have new coworkers. Right, and you can identify some probably characteristics. Generation Z, which are uh, people between nine and twenty-four years, they are creative, but they are really sensitive. As you can see nowadays, you say, hey, "Estos jóvenes de ahora son bien sensibles," dicen algunos. Right, because of the generation. They are creative, son muy creativos. Yes, you can see many, many, many um, teenagers nowadays, people between nine and 24, they have social media. You can watch videos uh, that they create, right? etc. because they are really creative. And the most important, they are really open-minded. Son de mente abierta. Generation Z, open-minded. You say, por eso dice, Los jóvenes de ahora ya piensan distinto. Nada que ver como antes. Yes. Nada que ver como antes. Okay. Because of generations. And millennials, right? I'm pretty sure that some of you are from this generation. Millennials. And probably some of you, Generation X. Independent. Flexible, skeptical, risk takers, ambitious, and self centered. Right? So, this is very important to know 
because in that way you are going to be able to understand people. You need to know about this if you are a leader. If you are a supervisor, you need to know about generations. Because just in that way, you are going to know, okay, so mm, this guy is creative, okay? Yeah? So you need to be able to identify characteristics. Okay? So then, um, let's move, right? Let me ask you a, a couple of questions, all right? Well, in this case, um, I would like to know, guys, okay? Jose, which generation do you belong to? I belong to millennial generation. Millennials. All right. Very good. What about you, Carla? Which generation do you belong to? Millennial. Millennials as well? Yes. Okay. What about uh, you, Emerson? Which generation? Millennium. Peter. Millennium. Okay. And you, Maurice? Uh, I belong to Generation X. Yes. Okay. Very good, Maurice. What about you, Pablo? Generation X. X. Yes. George, what about you? Is George Generation X. Generation X, yes. Yes. And you, eh, Vladimir? Generation X. Mm -hmm. And you, Eduardo? Well, I didn't hear the word. Uh, uh, my, my internet is, is very bad. I am generation X. X. Okay, thank you. All right. So, excellent. So, you see, guys, and you can identify. You say, yes, I'm like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, let's see. Um, let's compare all generations and let's explain what you think about them. Okay, guys. So, in this case... I mean, we have all of the generations, right? So which generation do you think is not the best, right? But in this case, do you think is, um, I would say, updated, right? Updated. Obviously, it's going to be this one. Generation Alpha, but they are really, really young, right? So I would yeah. say that the most updated right now, Millennials and Generation Z, right? Those are the two most updated, right? So now, how can knowing, okay, how? And listen to the question and think about mm -hmm. your opinion. How can knowing about generations be beneficial at work? How do you think this could be beneficial? There are many things that we can mention. But what do you think? Mm -hmm. How can this be uh, beneficial? What do you think? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I compare generation X and Alpha. Okay. This fear not much use technology, but okay. Alpha around with the technology. Yes, that is correct. Exactly, Maurice. And how can knowing about generations can be uh, beneficial at work, guys? How? How this can be beneficial? Uh, uh, me, um, I think we can, it can be beneficial if we know the generation 
Um, could be the way they are or the facility they have to learn something. Um, the behavior they could up to. Exactly. I think that Jose, um, he said something really important, right? So knowing about generations can be beneficial because in that way you can identify skills, right? If you need somebody, I mean, we are not saying that older generations are not good. Of course, no, right? Because no, but let's say that you want graphic designers, right? That you want probably software developers, right? So you need to take into account those type of things sometimes, right? If you want somebody uh, who is creative, right? Somebody that is risk taker. I mean, all of that is very beneficial. Mm -hmm. I think that it is a good way to measure sometimes skills, skills, right? Mm -hmm. And also, as uh, Jose said, behavior, right? Behavior. Because, you know, Generation Z sometimes is a generation, if they don't like a job, they go because they are sensible. If they don't feel good at the workplace, they simply quit and go because they are sensitive, right? So you need to evaluate sometimes if you need somebody for a position that requires a lot of responsibility, right? So in this type of way, it is very important and beneficial knowing about generations, especially if you work in the human resources department, right? Yes, that is very important. So now, and probably, well, in, in all of the departments, because in that way you are going to have an idea of your coworkers, right? And you notice, okay? Now, do you think, do you think children have it easier nowadays? Mm -hmm. The ones that are uh, parents, right? Do you think that your children have it easier nowadays? Uh, I think it is wrong. Uh, <laughs> today, maybe everything is difficult because um, uh, almost everything was invented. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, how do you say Merkel? Uh, probably the, the market, the field. Okay. Uh -huh. the, the, the field is um, full of everything. So no, they don't have it easier, probably, from your point of view, Jose. And what about the other ones? What do you think, guys? I think uh, the, ch the children nowadays are uh, competitive. Competitive? More competitive. OK. All since, right. uh, since three years, uh, kids Yes. Um. I don't know why, but the no. What? They have no many things that other generation. Mm -hmm. Yes, they now have a lot of things. Okay. All right. Mm hmm. Okay, somebody else. Do you think that children have it easier nowadays? Mm -hmm. No? Or yes? Um, well, I support Jose's opinion and also Carla's, right? And children nowadays mm, have it easier at some point because as Jose said, everything has been invented, 
most of the things, right? And you can learn in a very, very easy way. We have the internet, right? Mm -hmm. So I think that um, children, some of them, not all, of course, because there are many things that um, we need to take into account where they live, right? If they come from a family that probably have uh, the, the enough resources, right? We need to take into account all of those things. But let's say that now, nowadays children have, have it easier, a little bit, okay? Easier than before. Because before you didn't have a lot of things, right? You didn't have technology. Imagine your mom and dad, they didn't have technology. I mean, not in the in the degree that we have it right now, right? So they have it easier. They have it easier. Are people better workers now? Do you think that people are better workers now? Or do people work as hard now as they did before? Or do you think that before... Um, they were there were better workers. What do you think? Well, in my opinion, guys, um, what I think is that probably the sense of responsibility has decreased. Has decreased. Because right now it's really uh weird or well it's not that weird but it is common let's say that it is common that people just quit their jobs and they go to another company and they don't care they go to another company and to other company and like that right and before people were more responsible Mm, but I think that maybe people are better workers because they know how to do um, things and how to make money in an easy way. That's the point. Because we have generation um, Z, creative. That's why you see a lot of TikTokers. They are making money. They are really creative. They are really intelligent. They know how to make money in an easy way. Right? So it's not that they are better workers now, no, but they are kind of smart. They play smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, do people complain about things now more than in the past? Yes. People complain more. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't like this job because I need to travel. I don't like this job because I don't have this thing. I want another thing. I don't like this job because they don't treat me good. I don't like this job because I don't have friends. People complain more nowadays. Right? Or I don't like the country because the country is this. The country is that. I want to go to another country. Right? Mm -hmm. People complain a lot more than in the past. But it's because of a lot of things that we see now. Right? Because now we know more things that in the past were not noticeable. But nowadays, yes, you can see that you can travel to other countries, that you can have a better life probably in another country, right? And before, no, you didn't know that, right? But now, yes. So, yes, people complain more nowadays than in the past. Mm -hmm. mm. Teacher, I think... Uh... I think uh, the people of the past 
Yes. How to adapt to change. Yes, Maurice. And I think that that is the most difficult thing nowadays. Because, I mean, there are many things that are not as they were, right? And we can see many things now, I mean, different things that are really different, really, really different. Yeah. And probably something really common, right, is that before, let's say, let's talk about uh, jobs, right? So let's say that before, I mean, people stayed in the company no matter what they stayed in the company because it was a sense of responsibility staying in the company and work for a long period of time and now people yeah they are different <clears throat> so people from other generations they see that bad and they say you are not responsible right you you are sensitive so they need to adapt people from the past need to adapt but it's so difficult or sometimes in relationships right before people in the past they stay with the person no matter what but nowadays no right if you don't feel good with the person you simple end the relationship and go with another one. And before it was not like that, right? And people say, no, you need to fight for the relationship. You need to uh, treat her or treat him uh, different things, right? But times are different. And as you said, Maurice, people from the past need to adapt to the things that nowadays we have in society because it's in any country. That is the, the reality, right? And it is really difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Really difficult. Especially if you are uh, parents, right? Because you don't know in what, 10 years, 15 years, if your son or daughter is going to think different, different things, right? Or who knows? You need to adapt. You need to adapt. And sometimes it is almost impossible from uh, for people from the past, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, the last question about this, right? So do you think people appreciate things more or less than in the past? For example, favors from other people, the value of things, friendship, etc. Do you think people appreciate things more or less? I think people appreciate less the things. Less, right? Mm -hmm. That is true. They appreciate things less than in the past, but it's because of 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 uh, the era, right? It's because of that. Yes. It's really interesting, like seeing um seeing teenagers, uh, young adults nowadays, you see. Um I teach in a um i would say an, in an institution but it's really interesting to see how they think really interesting they all think almost the same and believe me you will be surprised of the things that they think and yes they let they value less than than in the past right so i think that 
it's kind of uh, surprising different things that you can see um, on teenagers nowadays. So yes, and not just in, uh, in teenagers, right? We can also mention millennials here. Sometimes they have adopted, yeah, they have adopted an attitude. Mm -hmm. Generation Z as well. They have adopted some type of behaviors. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so now let's move and let's talk about used to. Okay, so what is used to, guys? So used to basically is going to be, it's not a tense, okay? It is a phrase. So used to is the one that help us to what? It helps us to talk about habits or repeated actions in the past, which we don't do in the present, okay? Used to, used to. Mm -hmm. So used to means solía, used to, solía. Then um, we also have the structure, yeah? As you can see right here, the structure for used to is subject plus used to plus verb in base form plus complement. And we can say, I used to have long hair. So, yo solía tener cabello largo. I used to have long hair. Then we also have the negative. So, subject plus did not or didn't used to. And something that is very important for you to focus on is the following. That as you can see right here with the negative, guys, we do not have the letter D in use, but on the positive, yes. You see? Yes, no. Why? Because we have the auxiliary verb, didn't or did not. Then we also have verb in base form and we have the complement. And we have, I didn't use to want to have a nice house, but now yes, right? I didn't used to want to have a nice house. Or I didn't used to eat vegetables. Or I didn't used to drink water. Or I didn't used to wake up early. Yes. So the verb goes in base form. Yeah. And we also have questions or question words, yeah? So the common question, the one that we have, which is yes or no question is, did you used to be a teacher? Yes, I did. No, I did not. And then we also have uh, WH questions. Where did you use to buy your lunch? I used to buy it in the cafeteria. Or I used to buy it near my uh, place, right? Why did you used to play soccer? Why? Why do you used to play soccer? Mm, because it was my hobby, right? Because I did like it, because it was fun, etc. Yeah, so this one means solía. Used to means solía. Yo solía tal cosa. Ella solía tal cosa. So now, with all of the pronouns, okay, all of the pronouns, guys, is the same thing. We use used to. I mean, he used to, she used to, they used to, we used to, etc. All of the pronouns, the same structure. The same structure. Yes? Used to. Mm -hmm. Do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear. No? 
And this one is about the past. Okay? Just the past. Okay. If you don't have any question, can you please create one positive sentence, one negative sentence, and one question? Create one positive, one negative, and one question. And send those three to the chat here in Zoom. Mm -hmm. I'll give you um, five minutes so you can all participate. Um, well, in the meantime, guys, I just want you to remember that you need to complete the platform, okay? I have seen that some of you have not finished with the platform, and it's very important, okay? Finishing that, just as a reminder, okay? Okay. Okay, Vladimir, just um the first sentence with the letter D. Let me let me see. Yes, it is. Jorge Antonio, yes, just the first one should go with the letter D. I used to play soccer. Mm, I used to play basketball. You didn't use to play soccer. Did he used to eat spicy sauce? I used to play, I didn't use to. Okay, Um. number two one, without the letter D. I mean, used without D because of the auxiliary. Same thing with the question. Look at the structure. We don't have letter D because okay. we have D. Okay. okay, thank you. All right, Morris, um, number one, Morris, with the letter D. Letter D. Yes, oh. letter D. I used to want a car. Of the, I didn't use to work. Yes, Pablo, excellent. Okay, I'm I'm missing some of you guys.
Okay. So now, um, something uh, just for you to remember. Let me see. I'm used to. I'm used to watching video. Um, Emerson, number one, no. Number two, he didn't use to. Number two, Emerson, le tiene que quitar la D. You need to remove letter D and used porque llevamos el auxiliar didn't. Y la número uno, la que usted puso, I am used to watching all movies. Ese es otro tiempo. No es el yo solía. Ok. Sí. Um, muy bien. Uh, now que Emerson tocó eso, ese punto. Bien. También tenemos el yo estoy acostumbrado a. Yo estoy acostumbrada a levantarme temprano. Yo estoy acostumbrada a trabajar. Yo estoy acostumbrada a comer saludable. Yo estoy acostumbrado a llevar a mis hijos al colegio. Yo estoy acostumbrado, whatever, right? A lo que usted esté acostumbrado. Entonces, en este caso... You can say, for example, eh, I am used to, pero en ese caso el verbo va en ing, como Emerson lo envió. I am used to eating healthy. I am used to taking my kids to school. I am used to working hard. I am used to cooking. I am used to playing video games. I am used to listening to music. Pero es algo que usted está acostumbrado a y es en el presente. I am used to waking up early. Yeah. Now with the negative. No estoy acostumbrado a no estoy acostumbrado a, por ejemplo, no estoy acostumbrado a revisar mis redes sociales. ¿Okay? Cuando le dicen, ¿por qué no, no me aceptas la solicitud? ¿Por qué no me respondes? Right? No estoy acostumbrado a estar en el teléfono o estar pendiente de las redes sociales. So, I am not used to checking uh, my social media. Or I'm not used to being on WhatsApp. I'm not used to being on Facebook. Yeah, something negative. And with this, yes, guys, con este sí tenemos la diferencia que depende del sujeto va a poner el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Porque entonces sería she is used to, she is used to, he is used to, they are used to, we are used to, we are used to, Having classes from 8 till 10 p.m. We are used to doing that. Okay. Basically, just for you to, to focus on that, okay? Because those expressions are really important when we are sharing an idea. Okay. Perfect. So now let's move. Bye. Ahora sí, guys. Let's change the sentences on used to. Vaya, si se fija, look at those sentences. So we have seven, yeah? We have those seven uh, sentences and those sentences are in the simple past. So what we need to do is that we need to change the simple past into the used to. Yes? For example, Saul lived in North Korea when he was a child. ¿Cómo sería esa misma oración utilizando used? Saul used to live in North Korea when he was a child. Perfect. Saul used to live in North Korea when he was a child. Correct. What about number two? Ronald was married previously. Mm 
-huh. Ronald oh. was married. Uh -huh. eh, Maurice, creo que no le escuchamos. Uh -huh. Oh, Ronald, maybe. Uh, Ronald used to marry previously. Mm. Okay. But in this case, we need to say, uh, Ronald used to be. Yeah. Ronald used to be married previously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it be, right? Okay, number three. Mark was a player and spent all his money on games. Mm -hmm. Mark was a player and spent all his money on games. Used to. We need to use be again in this sentence. Yes. Mark used to be a player and spend all his money on games. That is correct. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mark used to be a player and spent all his money on games. That is correct. Okay. Number four, five, six, and seven. Let's see. Matthew worked at the police and had a good career. It should be. Matthew used to work. Yeah. Matthew used to work at the police and had a good career. Number five, Chris studied, Chris studied at the most prestigious, prestigious university in Korea. Chris used to study at the most prestigious university, university in Korea. In Korea, yes. Education in Asia is, it is really demanding education in Asia. People, people, um, well, yes, young adults, when they turn 18, they, they decide to, to leave, right? They, they leave uh, Korea or, or China, those countries because of education because education is really demanding. People that actually um, are not in, in Asia and you see people, young people, right? So it's because sometimes they prefer to study abroad and not in the country because it's really demanding education in Korea and in China. And is it better? Yes, it is better. Absolutely, it is better. You know, education, it is better, but um, the thing is that there, there is a lot of pressure from your family, a lot of pressure, because you need to get just good scores, right? So at some point, you need to study a lot. You don't sleep. It is really stressful. And I mean, at the end, you develop a lot of illnesses because they are really demanding. But education is good. I mean, it's excellent. It, they are really disciplined. So they are really disciplined. And yeah, you can you can see even on, on apps, right? They don't have, I mean, they, they don't have uh, those type of apps that we have here in, in our country. They don't have TikTok. They don't have those, they don't have WhatsApp. They have WeChat. 
right? They have TikTok, but it is a special TikTok where you can see just things about creation of, of different apps, how to study something. I mean, they don't see TikTok to watch people like dancing. No, they are not allowed to have that. But when you see people from Korea or from those type of countries on TikTok, you know, they pay. They pay because, I mean, that is not allowed in the country. So they need to uh, buy extensions or, or different sites. They need to pay for that to be able to use those type of, of, of things, right? Because the government, they do not allow that. Mm -hmm. So, yes, but it is excellent education in, in Asia, but it's demanding and disciplined. They are really disciplined. Yeah. So, number six, Marco has never respected someone. It should be Marco used or didn't. Positive or negative? Number six is a positive sentence or a negative sentence? Didn't used to respect someone? Yes. So Marco didn't used to uh, respect anybody, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number seven, the old man always helped others. It should be the old man Used Everybody. to always help others. <laughs> Correct. Okay, excellent. Very good. All right. So now, let's see. And listen to this. Let's look at Martin 15 years ago when he won the lottery compared to today. Let's write about how his lifestyle has changed. And let's use used to or didn't use to. And the present simple or infinitive. Okay, let's see. So, number one, we need to use those verbs. Yeah, the ones that are in, in pink. Yeah. So, number one says, he used to drink. Mm -hmm. He used to drink cognac every day. But now, he only drinks tea. Fíjese cómo se hace el contraste. Yeah, he used to drink, but now he only drinks tea. So, simple past or used to in the past with the present. Yeah, what about number two? He used to. Maurice, I'm not sure if you are speaking. No sé si usted está hablando, Maurice, pero no le escuchamos. No, no. Okay. So, number two. He used to have a lot of money, but now, or he used to, or he didn't used to have a lot of money, but now he is. ¿Cómo sería la oración? Correcto. He used to have. He used to have. He used to have a lot of money, but now he is very poor. He is very poor. Imagine. Yes, guys. I should have invested. Why? Yes. Um, number three. He. Used to be so poor. 
Bà nấu kim mm, I think that it should be he didn't used to be so poor because we're comparing uh, his life um, with the moment that he won the lottery. He won the lottery in the past. Right now, he doesn't have anything. So he didn't used to be so poor, but now he must count every penny. Dice que tiene que contar cada centavo, right? Yeah, every penny. Yeah. Okay. Number four. Number four, guys. Mm -hmm. He used to smoke cigars every day. Yes. But now he cannot. Have, take. Okay. Um, the correct uh, verb should be um, afford. Afford is like saying um, costearse o poder pagar. Cuando usted quiera decir, yo no puedo, no puedo costearme ese celular, por ejemplo. Okay. Usted puede decir, I cannot afford that cell phone. Okay. No puedo costearme ese carro. I cannot afford that car. I cannot afford that computer. I cannot afford that trip. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. He used to smoke cigars every day, but now he cannot afford such luxuries. Luxuries. Lujos, right? Mm -hmm. Number five. He he didn't he didn't used to he didn't used to think about work he didn't used to think about work of course because he had a lot of money right so he didn't used to think about work but now he needs a job. He needs a job. What about number six? He used to travel all around the around the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, so he used to travel all around the world. But he uh, he can't travel much these days but he doesn't okay yes number seven he well he used to have right he used to have a lot of women Okay, he used to have a lot of women, but nowadays he has many friends. And the last one, number eight. Aquí van los dos de prestar. De prestar o pedir prestado. Ok. 
Okay. So he Them. he used to Them. lend. Okay. Them. He used to lend a lot of money to his friends, but now he. Yeah. borrows money from them. Yeah. Oh. Guys, what is the difference between borrow and lend? I mean, los dos significan prestar. But what is the difference? No, no siempre que usted quiera eh, pedir prestado le va a decir, can you borrow me $10? No. No. Porque por eso tenemos dos verbos, el cual, los cuales son borrow and lend. Well, I'm going to explain that like kind of quickly. In this case, guys, um, we have a borrow and we also have lend, okay? So a quick way to identify, let's say, when to use which one, okay? Es bien simple, okay? Porque los dos significan prestar. So, pero ¿cuándo utilizo cuál? Porque el que sabemos todo es borrow, porque es el que más usa las personas. ¿no? Pero eh, tenemos que aprender a utilizar ambos, porque no siempre se utiliza borrow. Borrow lo puede usted asociar, ¿ok? Con otro verbo. I mean, pero ese, ese, ese cambio lo tiene que hacer en su mente, ¿ok? Ya lo voy a explicar cómo. En este caso, borrow significa take, tomar, tomar prestado, por decirlo. And lend significa give, en este caso, dar, que alguien más le presta a usted, no que usted lo toma directamente. Si yo le quiero decir a alguien, Puedo tomar prestada tu sombrilla. Y eso sería como la interpretación. La puedo, puedo agarrar tu sombrilla, le dice. O puedo usar tu sombrilla. Entonces, ahí sería. Can I borrow? El switch lo va a hacer en su mente. Si suena mejor, can I take your umbrella? porque yo la voy a tomar, yo la voy a tomar presa, yo la voy a agarrar. So, can I borrow your umbrella? Ok. Y si yo le digo a la persona, si yo le digo a la persona, ¿me puedes prestar tu sombrilla? Ahí, ella me la va a dar. Ella me va a dar a mí la sombrilla. Yo no la voy y la agarro yo. Yo voy y le digo, ¿me puedes prestar tu sombrilla? Entonces aquí se hace esto. Can you give me? Right? Can you lend me? So, can you lend me your umbrella? ¿Sí? Entonces, esa es la diferencia. Por eso es que le digo, no siempre va a ser borrowed. Okay. Can you lend me your umbrella? Can you lend me $100? Me, me puedes prestar $100. Dólares. Me puedes prestar un dólar. Me puedes prestar una cora. Okay. Uh -huh. Es con lend. Lend me. Yeah. Yes, es lend. Okay, no borrow. Borrow se utiliza para ocasiones bien específicas. Ya. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now, let's rearrange. Ahora vamos con ordenar. Vamos a ordenar. Okay, number one. Which is the correct sentence for number one? It should be mm 
Ish. Okay. Right. The first thing, lo primero acuérdense. I used to. Ah, I used to. Dream. Ah, yes. Getting. Of getting pet. Okay. I used to. Okay. Let me. Yes. I used to dream. dream. I used to dream of getting, getting a pet. pet. Very good. Excellent. What about number two? Number Maybe I used to come home. I used to come home. From work. From work. To, to an empty house. I used to come home from work to an empty house. Yes. Yes. And that is correct. O sea, encontraba la casa vacía. Yes. Uh -huh. What about number three? Mm -hmm. I no, I didn't didn't I didn't I didn't use didn't use to I didn't use to watch TV mm -hmm. Yes, here it is. This one is is I would say um, an extra two, right? Mm -hmm. So I didn't use to watch TV. Uh huh. No. Okay. Let's move to number four, okay? Let's uh, try to create number four. Mm 
¿no? No, okay. What about number five? Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't use to be very healthy. Yes, I didn't used to be very healthy. Very good. Okay, what about number six? I used to have more money. I used to have more money. Okay. All right. What about number four? Number, number four, I I didn't used to be uh, very healthy. Okay, so, and number three? I didn't use to watch with another one TV, two TV. Um, not exactly, Emerson. Um, but, but okay, so this one, we are missing this one and this one. Those two. Esas dos nos faltan. I didn't use to watch TV with anyone I have? With anyone I have? Mm. No. no, not exactly, okay. Mm. Mm, okay, so I think um, that uh -huh. go 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 Jose. I I didn't used to have anyone to watch TV with. Very good, excellent. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, so now just the last one, okay, this one.
So this one is easier than this one. I'm sorry, Maris. Uh, I think used to be a stress. Again, Maris? I think used to be a stress. No, no, no. So, so, Maris. Uh, I think I used to be a bit stressed. Correct. So I think okay, I think I used to be a bit stressed. Right. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Okay, but you see, I mean, it's just a matter of time, right? That you create the, the correct structure. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, so now let's take the first quiz okay which is the general knowledge quiz so this one guys is basically about um let me send that link okay this one is about different topics and it has 20 questions the passcode is grammar okay so it has 20 questions mm. pay attention to every single detail Yes. Okay. We are going to have around 10 minutes for you to finish it because I think that on this one, you need to um, probably think a little bit. Okay.
Okay, so I can see that some of you already finished. Yeah. Um, okay, guys, we are going to take the listening, the listening one. So I'm not sure if you all finished, but uh, you, not yet, Maurice. Oh, yeah, teacher. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of minutes, okay? I will give you around five minutes. Okay, so you can finish. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. So now let's take the listening. Okay, the listening voice. Okay, there you go. And the passcode is listening, okay? Listening. Mm. Yes. Okay. So let me know once you're in so I can play the, the audio. Okay, you ready? Ready, miss. Okay. So I'm going to play it three times, okay? Here we go. Hi. Well, you, hi. Are, are you new in the neighborhood? Oh, yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh. Hey, I'm Stacy. I live across the street. Oh, hi, Stacy. I'm Mark, Mark Jones. Um, looks like you're moving. Do you need any help unloading your moving truck? I can have my husband come or my kids. 
Um, well, fortunately, the movers are going to do that. But you're welcome to help carry a few things out from our car. Yeah, sure. I can go get them. Where are you from? Well, we're originally from Chicago, but we just moved from a place called Springville. Oh, Springville. That's not, isn't that the, the north end of the state? Yeah, just, yeah, not too far from here. How was your trip? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, it went pretty well. We hired a moving company, something my company paid for, and it was simply more convenient than packing all our stuff, renting a truck, and then moving everything ourselves. That's nice. How does this company work then? Was it pretty good? Yeah. Well, in many cases, you can pack your own things and just have the company load the boxes and your other items on the truck, or they'll pack everything for you, and they can tow your vehicle behind the truck if you like, and they can even you know, move heavy items like pianos. Wow, that's nice. So did it, everything go as planned? Well, pretty much, except our cat disappeared. About really? three, yeah, about three hours before the movers did left. Did you find it? No, and uh, we're not sure if she ran away, oh. got hit by a car, or what. Well, that must be really hard on your family. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah. Yeah, that must be rough. Yeah. No sign of the cat? Not yet. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. So... Um, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a software developer. Oh, what do you do exactly in your job? Well, um, most of the time I develop educational software for schools. Really? Yeah, and at the moment I'm working on several educational apps for, you know, smartphones. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, it's, it's a really good job. And, uh, so how about yourself? Well, actually, I'm a high school history teacher. Oh, wow. You know, actually, I've created two apps on world history. That you might be interested in, yeah. Oh, that sounds great. I'd love to see them. Yeah. By the way, um, you know, we're having a barbecue at our place on Friday. Oh. Why don't you come over, bring your family, and get to know some of the neighbors? Well, let me talk to my wife. But just so you know, we have nine kids. Seriously? Nine kids? Yeah, so (laughs) they might eat all of your food. Well, that's no problem. That's a lot of kids, but it'll be fun. Hey. What? No, just listen. Hey. Did you hear that? Listen, listen, it's someone over there. It's in one of the... There's something in one of your boxes. No way. Yeah. That's, that sounds like a cat. It's a cat in one of... Did you I, find... Did you I cat get in one of your boxes? I don't know. Let me look. Hey, uh, let me move this box. Yeah. Wow. Look oh, at no. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm sure the family is going to be happy yeah, about this. I bet. Congratulations. Okay, the second time. Hi. Well, you, hi. Are, are you new in the neighborhood? Oh, Welcome. yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh. Hey, I'm Stacy. I live across the street. Oh, hi, Stacy. I'm Mark. Mark Jones. Um, looks like you're moving. Do you need any help unloading your moving truck? I can have my husband come or my kids. Um, well, fortunately, the movers are going to do that. But you're welcome to help carry a few things out from our car. Yeah, sure. I can go get them. Where are you from? Well, we're originally from Chicago, but we just moved from a place called Springville. Oh, Springville. That's not, isn't that the, the north end of the state? Yeah, just, yeah, not too far from here. How was your trip? I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, it went pretty well. We hired a moving company, something my company paid for, and it was simply more convenient than packing all our stuff, renting a truck, and then moving everything ourselves. That's nice. How does this company work then? Was it pretty good? Yeah. Well, in many cases, you can pack your own things and just have the company load the boxes and your other items on the truck, or they'll pack everything for you, and they can tow your vehicle behind the truck if you like, and they can even, you know, move heavy items like pianos. Wow, that's nice. So did everything go as planned? Well, pretty much, except our cat disappeared. About really? three, yeah, about three hours before the movers Did you left. Ever find it? No, and uh, we're not sure if she ran away, oh. got hit by a car, or what. Well, that must be really hard on your family. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah, yeah, that must be rough. Yeah, no sign of the cat. Not yet. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. So, um, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a software developer. Oh, what do you do exactly in your job? Well, um, most of the time I develop educational software for schools. Really? Yeah, and at the moment I'm working on several educational apps for, you know, smartphones. Oh, that's that's great. Yeah, it's it's a really good job. And uh, so how about yourself? 
Well, actually, I'm a high school history teacher. Oh, wow. You know, actually, I've created two apps on world history that you might be interested in. Yeah. Oh, that sounds great. I'd love to see them. Yeah. By the way, um, you know, we're having a barbecue at our place on Friday. Oh. Why don't you come over, bring your family, and get to know some of the neighbors? Well, let me talk to my wife. But just so you know, we have nine kids. Seriously? Nine kids? Yeah, so they might eat all of your food. Well, that's no problem. That's a lot of kids, but it'll be fun. Hey. What? No, just listen. Hey. Did you hear that? Listen, listen. It's someone over there. It's in one of the... There's something in one of your boxes. No way. Yeah. That's, that sounds like a cat. It's a cat in one of... Did you I, find... Did you I cat get in one of your boxes? I don't know. Let me look. Hey, uh, let me move this box. Yeah. Wow. Look oh, at no. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm sure the family is going to be happy yeah, about this. I bet. Congratulations. Okay, so the last time. Hi. Well, you, hi. Are, are you new in the neighborhood? Oh, yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the neighborhood. Oh. Hey, I'm Stacy. I live across the street. Oh, hi, Stacy. I'm Mark. Mark Jones. Um, Looks like you're moving. Do you need any help unloading your moving truck? I can have my husband come or my kids. Um, Well, fortunately, the movers are going to do that. But you're welcome to help carry a few things out from our car. Yeah, sure. I can go get them. Where are you from? Well, we're originally from Chicago, but we just moved from a place called Springville. Oh, Springville. That's not, isn't that the, the north end of the state? Yeah, just, yeah, not too far from here. How was your trip? I can't, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> well, it went pretty well. We hired a moving company, something my company paid for, and it was simply more convenient than packing all our stuff, renting a truck, and then moving everything ourselves. That's nice. How does this company work then? Was it pretty good? Yeah. Well, in many cases, you can pack your own things and just have the company load the boxes and your other items on the truck, or they'll pack everything for you, and they can tow your vehicle behind the truck if you like, and they can even you know, move heavy items like pianos. Wow, that's nice. So did it, everything go as planned? Well, pretty much, except our cat disappeared about really? three, yeah, about three hours before the so movers did left. Did find it? No, and uh, we're not sure if she ran away, oh. got hit by a car or what. Well, that must be really hard on your family. Sorry to hear about that. Yeah. Yeah, that must be rough. Yeah. No sign of the cat? Not yet. Oh, I'm no. sorry. So... Um, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a software developer. Oh, what do you do exactly in your job? Well, um, most of the time I develop educational software for schools. Really? Yeah, and at the moment I'm working on several educational apps for, you know, smartphones. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, it's, it's a really good job. And, uh, so how about yourself? Well, actually, I'm a high school history teacher. Oh, wow. You know, actually, I've created two apps on world history. That you might be interested in, yeah. Oh, that sounds great. I'd love to see them. Yeah. By the way, um, you know, we're having a barbecue at our place on Friday. Oh. Why don't you come over, bring your family, and get to know some of the neighbors? Well, let me talk to my wife. But just so you know, we have nine kids. Seriously? Nine kids? Yeah, so they might eat all of your food. Well, that's no problem. That's a lot of kids, but it'll be fun. Hey. What? No, just listen. Hey. Did you hear that? Listen, listen, it's someone over there. It's in one of the... There's something in one of your boxes. No way. That's yeah. A, that sounds like a cat. It's a cat in one of... Did you I, find... Did you, I can I get in one of your boxes? I don't know. Let me look. Hey, uh, let me move this box. Yeah. Wow. Look oh, at no. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm sure the family is going to be happy yeah, about this. I bet. Congratulations. All right. Perfect, guys. So let me see. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. All right. Let's uh, let's continue. So, guys. Uh, okay. So, let me ask you. What is a food that you used to hate but now you like? What is a food? 
hat that you used to hate but now you like? Well, I used to hate vegetables, but now I love them. Really? Ah, uh, really? Yes. Oh my god, okay. All of them? Uh no. Some. Some, some. Okay. All right. Okay. And the other ones? Something that you used to hate, but now that you like. I used to hate Lorocos and I still hate. <laughs> you still hate them. Okay. Yes, that is true. I don't like them either. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I used to hate a uh, mushroom, but I, I, I like a little bit. <laughs> okay, all right, but you like them. I don't know, but you do. Okay. <laughs> you know, I used to hate uh eggplant, berenjena eggplant. But now I like it. Do you used to get good grades in high school? Or no? Yes. You did? Okay. Yes. All right. Good grades. Very. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. All right. So, and do you think the past was better than the present? Do you think the past was better than the present, guys? No? Mm -hmm. Or yes? Well, I think that it depends, right? I mean, there were some things that were very good in the past. But now we have different things as well. We have many tools, right? But probably the past was better than the present. Mm. I don't know. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. You know what? I'm going to say the attendance. Okay, because I have I haven't taken. All right, so let me see. Let me um okay, so here we go. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz, Carlos Vladimir, yeah, so Carlos. Okay, eh, Claudia Maria Guerrero. Claudia, I saw Claudia as well. Okay, eh, Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Yes, okay. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present to you. Thank you, George. Jose Bernardo Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarengo. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Uh, Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Karen. Carla Sofia Argueta. Present. Thank you. Uh, Kenya Elizabeth. Yes. Eh, Marian Scarlett. Marian. Marina Jensi Sandoval. Marina Jensi. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Present. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen Norma. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present. Yes, thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres. Present, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Maricela. Wendy Maricela. And 
Jonathan Roberto Garcia. Present. Yes. Right. Richard, present. You didn't yes. know. Yes. Yeah, I didn't mention. Yeah, but yes, I, I heard. It. Okay, I heard. It. Don't worry. All right. So, yes, let's continue, guys. Okay, we're almost done. Okay, let's uh, just continue with this one. Okay. And let me ask you guys some students take notes very often during class. Other students do not take notes or rarely take notes. Which do you think is better? Okay, and why? Or which one do you prefer and why? Um, I think that depends the topic and the, and the difficult. Okay. What it is? Yes. The difficult it is. Um, in my case, I I did the both. <laughs> okay. Always, yes, uh, dependent subject and the topic. Okay, all right. All right, thank you. Uh, okay, who else? Um, uh, for me, it's better. For me, it's better to take a note because uh, teacher, uh, make uh, emphasis. What do you say emphasis? Emphasis, emphasis. Emphasis. Eh, 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 algunos tópicos. In some topics. In some topics. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Maurice. Um, what about you, Juan? Do you take notes or no? Or yes, sometimes I take notes because I forget easily the thing and I have to read uh, write some things. Okay. But um I don't write on with a pencil and notebook. Um but I write in a notepad, the computer. Oh okay. And which one is better, Juan, for you? I mean, or in general, on your notepad or on a notebook in general? I think the best way is a notebook is the better. Yes, because you can carry your notebook to anywhere, right? Yes. And you can read. Yeah, and it, it is easier. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, I agree. Okay, what about you, Emerson? I think it's better to take them up because always we forget that some things. Yes, that is correct. All right, let's move. Watching TV is not a good use of time. Do you agree or disagree? George, what do you think about that one? Mm, for me, in my opinion, is depend what program do you watch? Because, um, for example, if you, um, if you use, uh, these activities for a time uh, to relax mm -hmm. is is better okay okay so it depends yes it depends, it depends. Mm -hmm. all right so carla what do you think do you agree or disagree that watching tv is not a good use of time I think I agree. You agree? Why? Watching TV is not. 
because um, many people don't use TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Watching watching series or movies in cell phone <laughs> or platforms or different platforms platforms. Um, mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Carla. Mm. You know, I think that it depends, guys. It depends as your set on the type of. Um, program that you watch right because if it is educational maybe yes right and if you use it to relax as George said as well I mean it's valid right but just to watch tv and and just like waste our time is not valid right it's not valid all right the last questions okay Guys, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? What a person wears can show his or her personality. Do you think that we can judge people by the way they are uh, dressed? Mm, well, maybe. maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can see if he are wearing uh, casual clothes, maybe I can think that he show his personality, but if I see a person in a meeting, uh, no. Okay. Uh -huh. And the other ones, what do you think? Do you think that we can... Um... Not judge, okay, but we can identify the type of personality somebody has based on what they wear. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I think that yes. Yes. Okay. Well, but but it's not. Uh, there is a saying that it says that we shouldn't, we should not judge a book by its cover. I think that is the, the, the saying, right? And yes, that is true sometimes, sometimes, guys, because sometimes uh, how people actually address tells a lot. It tells a lot. Um. Okay. So right now, guys, just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. I'll see you back on Monday. On Monday, we are going to have we are going to have our last class. Guys, do not forget, el que no ha terminado la plataforma, termine. Sí, termine este fin de semana. Please. Okay. So our last class is going to be on Monday. Please uh, go ahead and try to rest. Thank you very much for connecting today. And I'll see you back on Monday, guys. Okay, take care. Have a good night. All right. Night, teacher. See you Monday. Bye, 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 bye guys. Bye. Good night.